Hi guys, welcome to this video. Um, as I said in a previous video, I've been looking for a while for the quintessential hardcover notebook. I love my 11 notebooks, but um, when I need to write a lot of things, I definitely go back to my hardcover notebooks. And I've been looking for the quintessential one, one that I like to use that has a simple yet original design. Um, with durability, uh, a nice paper quality and the perfect size. And when it comes to size, of course, it doesn't really uh, change a lot. But you've got variations from the uh, regular A5. And I have found um, that the perfect A5 was not really my thing. And so I'm going to uh, show you my um, choice and my top five. And this, so let's start with the uh, number five. And each time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say why I think it's a nice quintessential notebook and then move on to the other one and then maybe compare them um, a little. Right, so in number five, um, I chose the uh, Leuchtturm 1917. It's not a notebook that I've used extensively, uh, but it's quite simple in design, very simple actually. Paper is nice quality and you've got lots of pages in these and they last quite some time. So Leuchtturm is nice. Got a nice durability. Uh, maybe not the most original design, maybe not the base paper, but definitely comes um, number five. Right. Number four now would be the famous Moleskine in uh, um, collection editions. Why the collector editions? Because uh, Moleskines are very nice quality notebooks, but you do find a lot of other notebooks um, of greater quality. But what I like uh, in their collections is these are these um, particular notebooks which are more personal. You've got a um, Peanuts designs, you've got Batman designs, you've got the Star Wars, the Alice in Wonderland, and I think the the worst in these notebooks uh, would be the paper quality for fountain pens. When you write with ballpoint pens, it really doesn't matter. Uh, they are fairly durable, uh, very nice ones, except for the pocket at the end. Uh, but they uh, last quite some time and they offer a nice quantity of paper to, to write. So I particularly like these ones, though I know uh, the paper is not the best. I still go for the uh, collector, collector versions. So that's it for the uh, Moleskin. Moleskin is my number four. Now, coming, coming in the third position are the Rodia and Clairefontaines. These are from the same uh, makers, the same, it's the same group, so I put them together and they are very much alike in many ways. Uh, so let's talk about the, um, well, let's talk about the Rodia. Yeah. They are exactly the same, basically. Um, their design is fairly nice, though it's not my favorite, but the design is fine, durability is fine as well. And the top quality is the paper, which is very smooth to write on with a fountain pen. No show through, no bleed through, no feathering. So that's kind of nice. Uh, you would go for this one uh, if you really, really consider that, uh, that paper comes first. Uh, their designs are very nice as well. They are quality notebooks. Now, um, what I like less about them is their size. But let, we're still, that's one of my favorites and it comes number three. Okay, now let's move on to number two. And I really hesitated uh, between this one and the other one. Um, I both like them. I think this one has something for, um, for itself that makes it come first and I'll come to this. This one is one I recently reviewed which is a cord and quill. Uh, I absolutely love the design which is simple yet a bit original with the grainy touch there. Um, I like this little uh, speck of originality. I like that it comes back inside. And that's a very durable, very nice notebook with great qualities. Also the size, which is a bit particular. Uh, if 
you have a look with the Rhodia, it's slightly shorter, but it's slightly larger. So I go for this size, shorter in height and a larger in width, which is I have found very practical to write um, and to take notes from my books. So uh, this one definitely comes number two, it could be number one, but the paper inside is not as nice as the paper you've got in the Baron Fig. What could make it come first before the Baron Fig is the choice of dot in um, indented lines. That's very nice. So I really hesitated. I would say these are both number one rather than one and two, but um, now if I introduce the subjective uh, dimension in it, then definitely I have a little preference for the uh, Baron Fig, so let's have a look at it. But this one's really is one of the best I've seen. Now, this little one I reviewed quite uh, some time ago, and it's been fairly used since, as you can see. And that's the Baron Fig. It's a... Um, it's a... Um, Nice little cover. I really love the color. The gray is wonderful. Uh, the camera doesn't uh, show the actual real color and the Saffron page mark makes it um, original because it's, a, as you see, it's cloth. Uh, it's quite original, quite pleasant to hand, uh, though it tends to um, get a bit used on the top from where my use of it. Uh, the size is absolutely perfect for my use. Again, if you look, we look at the uh, Rhodia, which is the regular A5, we've got a shorter version. And here, a shorter width. And that's very pleasant to write and transport. And what's also important, this one, I don't know if I can show the last page. But, uh, I write with a... with a... Uh, how that was written with this one, the Chin Hao X450 uh, with a quite demanding ink called Cacao du Brésil, and you've got absolutely nothing on the other side. So, um, if you write with fountain pens, this paper is absolutely wonderful. It's not as smooth as a Rhodia, but it's grainy enough that you can actually also use pencils on them easily because Rhodia smooth is not as good uh, if you want to do some drawings. This one is a very versatile in that sense and I really love their design. So this one, the Barafig, is my notebook of choice. I really hesitated with this one which is also very good but it's a very subjective matter. I think this one comes first because of my personal tastes and this one is also very good. Anyways, any notebook you go to and this top five, you will not be disappointed. These are very quality notebooks and you will not have any problems or issues with them. Right, uh, maybe this video will be updated if I discover other interesting items. But for the moment, that would be it. Baron Fig comes first, Quote and Quill comes second, very close to the first one. Third place is for the uh, Rodian Clairefontaine notebooks. And fourth place goes to Moleskine, and Leuchtturm comes uh, last um, in the fifth position. I know there will be people who think, haha, ha, Leuchtturm should come fourth and Moleskine come, f come fifth. But my position is that I love their designs. Right, so here is uh, my top five. I hope you liked it. Please do not hesitate to leave feedback or comments or suggest your own um, favorite notebook, favorite hardcover notebook. And that would be it for today. Thank you for watching.